This is Twit. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Chibert, a.k.a. Brian Chi, and this is a quiet after-school special. We've been talking in this series about doing VoIP troubleshooting. A lot of us are transitioning. We're, we have VoIP infrastructure that we need to deal with. So what we thought we'd do in this, we being Tim Titus, CTO of Pass Solutions, is deal with common VoIP problems to find what causes it, how to find it, and then, of course, how to resolve it. So, Tim, you're my man. Let's go talk about voice over IP one-way audio problems. Huh? What? Oh, there's nothing coming from my side. I didn't hear you. That's what you have when you have one-way audio. You have one side hearing the other, and the other side hears nothing. I think we've all been on a few phone calls that sound like that, um, and really, uh, it, it's frustrating because you don't even know the other person's listening. Uh, I, I've been on phone calls before where I'll, I'll admit I would have just talked and talked for five and ten minutes long, and the other person's like trying to say all sorts of stuff, trying to interrupt me, and I just keep going on because I can't hear them. Uh, so this ends up leading to a lot of frustrated users when they end up having this problem happen to them. Okay. We're obviously talking about voice over IP. We're in the digital age. What are the things we need to look for? What causes one-way audio? So there's two ways to think about one-way audio. If you make a phone call and that phone call immediately gets established and you can't hear the other side, but the other person can hear you just fine, that usually means there's a configuration problem because you're getting uh, your packets out to them, but their packets are not making it back to your handset. And so that's a configuration problem because it happens guaranteed all the time. You hang up, you make the call again, it happens again, and it always happens. You just can't hear the other problem, uh, the other side. And so that always happening leads you to say, go look at your firewalls. Go look at how those firewalls are configured to handle VoIP uh, because they're dropping 100% of the packets. Now, the second type of problem you can have that's one-way audio is you can be on a phone call and it's working just fine, you're talking to the other person, you're hearing them just fine, and then all of a sudden, they drop. And you're like, hello, hello, what, what happened? Are you still there? And you're trying to find out if they're still connected, and you're wondering, well, what happened? That's not a firewall problem because you were talking before just fine. The configuration of the firewall, I would say, is perfect. What typically happens in that environment where calls drop just right in the middle is either you have too much packet loss, and so the packets that were going uh, from their phone to you, just they drop too many of those, and you drop that half of the call. If you remember back in the very first segment, we talked about how there are two separate voice streams. You can have one of those drop, and the other one stays up. Doesn't always happen, because usually if there's packet loss, it's going to affect both sides, but if you have just enough packet loss in one direction, one side drops the call and that person drops off and you're just there kind of on your own where the other person can hear you, but you can't hear them. So it's packet loss if it happens midstream or it's a configuration problem if it happens immediately upon the call being established. So don't cross the streams? <laughs> okay. Exactly. Uh, in your experience, do some of these VoIP are some of these VoIP systems smart enough to rebuild that lost connection, or should we just hang up and try again? So uh, that's the sad thing is is honestly you're giving a feature re request to somebody who can't fix it, but the folks who build these phone systems they ought to be able to rebuild the call and rebuild it dynamically so far at this point of the game i haven't found any company that has that dynamic rebuild the call stream if it has too much packet loss uh typically if if you have one-way audio you hang up the call re-establish the call either it takes a different route path or again if it's that configuration error you're just not going to get passed through that until it's fixed but if it's packet loss 
the overutilization or the problems related to packet loss, those problems might have gone away by the time you reestablish the call. Uh, so it's it's sadly it's a hang up. Try the call again, and you'll probably be fine. Okay. Well, that's all fine and good, but my boss just he he doesn't like this. What kind of tools can I get that can help me resolve this so that I can at least reduce the occurrences? So what you want to do is you want to look at your network. You want to look at the interfaces on your network. You want to look at the performance of your network. You can use monitoring software to go out and collect error counters on interfaces, performance counters on interfaces, uh, QoS statistics on interfaces, performance on, on the switch, on the router, CPU, memory, all of that sort of stuff. And you can go out and build those tools to collect that amount of visibility. That's one mechanism for doing that. Uh, there's a number of open source tools you can use to collect the information. Part of the hard part is you have to know what to collect. If you think about it, every switch, every interface, every router, and every interface, there are 20, 25 different error counters on every one of those interfaces. That's a lot of reasons you could drop packets. That's a lot of reasons you could buffer packets. Monitoring software today typically doesn't collect that information. So you have to go manually configure to collect the information to see where are we dropping packets, where are we buffering packets. Uh, and so it's, it's that manual configuration that you need to build to get that visibility into the environment. So, you know, it, this is going to be my common theme at the end of every segment. It sounds like know your network. Do that honest inventory is going to go a long way to solving problems like voice over IP, one-way audio. Yeah, yeah. It, it, again, it, you have a good network diagram. You understand your network. You understand where you're dropping packets, why you're dropping packets. And this is, this is some of the reason why I, I founded the company is – to solve this problem of packet loss, to be able to tell you here's where and when and why you're dropping packets so that you're not having to spend weeks or months trying to configure monitoring software to go collect the error counters. We go collect the error counters for you automatically. doesn't make any difference what model of switch or router. We scoop up the information, analyze it, and help tell you here's where you're dropping packets, here's why you're dropping packets, and also include a call simulator to be able to show are you dropping packets going outbound? Are you dropping packets coming inbound? And also, where are those packets being dropped so that you can see this is what's affecting my VoIP environment? Super cool. And, you know, we've been talking to Tim Titus, CTO of Path Solutions, and we've been talking about what kinds of things can mess up your voice over IP system. And this has been a twilight after, after school special. And the whole idea behind these is give you tools to help you do your job better. It's not necessarily a full portion of Twiat because people don't want us to make the, the episodes any longer. But extra tools, something for the after school. Anyway, this has been Chibert and I've been talking about voice over IP one-way audio problems. Next time, we're going to talk about what happens when your voice calls are garbled. 